question tanong na, how do you feel or your personal opinion mo mm. allowed na ang transgender sa Miss Universe? Personally, I have no problem with it, but I do understand why there is quite an uproar amongst every all the fans and different people looking at the issue because it is a very young discussion um, about the LGBTQ and especially coming into the arena of pageantry where it's traditional that it's natural born women. But, you know, I think it really depends, one, on Miss Universe organization, if they allow it, then that's their prerogative. And also the bansa itself, or the country itself. If that um, contestant who may be transgender can go through the, the casting process, become a candidate, get judging, and then become the, or earn the right to represent her country, then why not? Who are we to say, you know, that's, that's wrong. I mean, it's the discretion talaga of the the organization itself. Pero kahit may mga winners na past title holders na nagsasabi na dapat hindi. Parang kasi they have their own pageant. How do you feel na may mga ganon na opinion? I know. Like I understand the discussion. I really do, and I try. I'm trying to see it from all of the sides. But the, and also a side we need to consider is that this contestant didn't wake up one day saying I want to be a woman. Okay. This is someone who she's identified to be since a child. So in her inner being, she is a woman. So are we open-minded to allow her to compete with other women? And I think that's something we should talk about. Mm -mm. Okay. Miss Spain, ang unang transgender mm -mm. na. No? Yes. Uh, pag nakita kayo or magkita kayo sa Miss Universe, ano ang unang mong sasabihin sa kanya or paano mo siya i-approach? Yeah, um, Parang I wouldn't approach her like a Miss Universe sister. Okay. I mean, I don't see her differently from anyone else. Okay. Um, but I would love to hear her personal experience on the battlefront of being a transgender woman. Mm -hmm. Because I think ibae, if it's a personal experience mm -hmm. that you've personally had people come up to you or mm -hmm. people tell you things and you've put together your mm -hmm. understanding of the topic, I would love to hear that from her so that I could too understand her side okay. of the whole situation also. Okay. And Kat, beauty experts, nagsasabi isa ka pa rin sa strong contender, mm. naglalabasa na iba-ibang um, delegates from other countries. Mm. How do you feel na hindi ka nawawala sa listahan ng strong contenders? So I'm grateful ako because okay. I, I am really working hard for it. Mm. Um, some of my fans are saying, why why aren't you putting your training online? Mm. And I'm just saying, relax guys, I'm training even though you might not see it. Mm. Don't think that I'm not working hard because I am. Okay. Marakaramihan sa mga co-candidates mo like Miss USA, nila like yung mga posts mo. Mm. How do you feel about that? I love that. Parang it's making the culture of we're having friendships mm. rather than we're just competitors. Mm. Um, and also, it'll be nice to meet them and, mm. and call them by their first name and not just their country. Okay. So I think it's nice that we're getting to know each other now uh -huh. rather than going there and then there's going to be so many girls. Okay. So And the time constraint, you know, maybe only two weeks, three mm. weeks, so at least now we're developing friendships so that there it's not starting from okay. page one. Okay, and the venue better back to Asia. Oh, I feel like I feel like in Asia we love pageants. We love the celebrations and everything a pageant represents. So super excited ako kung kapag dito sa Asia yung Miss Universe because I feel like also yung mga Pinoy's we really go there and support and I would love that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Kat. Thank you.